Today we're going to be doing a photo story tutorial. Photo story is a free software tool from Microsoft Office that can be easily downloaded. It's a tool whereby you can combine visual images with sound effects and music and text to create a professional and creative visual presentation. Today we're going to do a presentation about China and the first thing we're going to do is download some images before we begin the photo story. So we're going to go to Google and we're going to go to Google Images we're going to type in the keyword Chinese and we're going to search for images. Okay, a picture that we don't have is a picture of their um, symbol for the dragon. So we're going to click on that and something to note is that in order for your pictures to be really clear, they need to be at least 500 pixels wide and the width of the picture is the number that comes first. Otherwise, if it's small under 500, then it will be um, foggy. Okay, so there's a picture of a dragon and what we would like to do then is download it. So we will right click it and we will save the picture and then we will save it in our folder of pictures. Now we're going to go to the next step. So we're going to hit next and we're going to import our pictures. Now we already have our pictures pre-downloaded. For photo store, you can either use digital photos that you've taken with your camera or you can use images from the internet or for your presentation you could use a mixture of both. For this presentation on China we're simply going to use images that we've downloaded from the internet. We want to select all the photos so what you can do is click on the first photo, hit the shift button, click on the other one and that will download the entire column. So we'll hit OK. It's imported. We're going to import some more. We'll do the second column. Hit the first one and the last one and import. Now, our pictures are all there, but they might not necessarily be in the order we want. I'd like the photo of the Buddha to be at the end. I think that's a nice way of ending it. And I would also like the picture of the map to be at the very beginning to indicate that we are going to be um, looking at China. So you simply click on the picture and then drag it along and it will go to the spot where you leave it at. Um, I think I would like a picture of the Great Wall to be second. And that's fine. Okay, so we have our pictures. We've imported them. They're in the order we'd like for them to be. And so we will now hit next. Okay, the next thing we can do is type text. I think what I would like is some sort of like a title page to start the presentation. But if you see the map, there's already a lot of writing on it. It'll be very confusing. So we're going to go on to effect and we're going to hit washout and then we're going to type over top of it a study of China. Now I really like that picture of a map and I'd like to include it in the photo story. So what I can simply do is import again. So I need to go back, import pictures, grab the picture of the map again, and import it and bring it so it's the second one. So we have the title page and then we have the map. Great. All right, next picture. And let's look at the Great Wall of China. All right, so we'd like a little text box so people know what that is. We are going to write the Great Wall of China. And we'll put it at the top. So we'll click on the top box. Now, that's kind of hard to see, so we'll change the color of it to white. And this gives you all of your fonts, font styles, sizes, and colors. We'll take a look at that. There. Much better. You can see it much more clearly. All right, let's move on to the next step. So you can do text for as many photos of, as you want. If you put text on a photo during the presentation, the picture will not move. Pictures with no text will move in and out. The next that we are going to do is you can do voice over narration and you can customize motion. This is a study of China. In this presentation, we will be looking at various cultural artifacts of China. So we'll click on one of the pictures and we'll customize the motion. 
So what we can do is we can specify where we want the picture to start at. So maybe we'll start up in the, the corner. And then when it, it, when it focuses, it will fade down into the woman's face because she's the central focus. And we'll say the number of seconds to display the picture, we'll say four. So we can preview that particular picture. to see what that's going to look like in our presentation. Excellent. We will save that. All right, the next step is to we can select music. And what we've decided to do because our presentation is on China is we have already previously downloaded a song from China. So we'll go into our music and we will download it. Now if your song is not as long as your presentation, then you can continue, you can cut and copy it so that it fits your whole presentation. Okay, the next step. Um, one thing too before that is with the volume, you want to make sure it's about medium or it will be too loud for your presentation. And then we can preview it to see how it looks. This is a study of China. In this presentation, we will be looking at various cultural artifacts of China. All right, the next thing we do then is we save it. And we'll build the story. We'll mix everything that we need to create a photo story. And now you have a photo story that you can um, show in class or post on a web page or put on the internet. This is a study of China. In this presentation, we will be looking at various cultural artifacts of China. The Great Wall stretches approximately over 6,400 kilometers. Chinese dragon is traditionally the embodiment of the concept of yang, or male. Over the last 15 years, there's been an economic miracle in China. However, most of the Chinese population still lives and works as peasants. China is a country of contrasts. Even though its largest population are peasants, it also boasts some of the world's most modern cities, including Hong Kong. Shanghai is China's largest city, boasting a population of over 20 million people. China is one of the world's great ancient civilizations and has made a tremendous difference to the history of the world.